Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a first look at Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising. Uh, I've been curious about Grand Blue vs. because I like fighting games. Fighting game, it's got, it's got Lediva and Cagliostro in, in it and they are amazing. Um, but I haven't actually played it because by the time I was like looking to buy fighting games, uh, they'd already announced that Rising was coming out and so it didn't really make sense for me to get uh, the first one. Uh, so... This is my first like, experience with the series, basically. Uh, this is the free version. Um, apparently Rising has a free version you can install that has like a rotation of just a few of the characters. Uh, so we're going to see how this goes and get a vibe on how this game works. Uh, I have, whoops, I have my fight, my flat box here set to uh, Dual Shock 4 mode. Uh, Probably it works no matter what mode you put it in, uh, because this game is uh, just released like yesterday. Grand Blue Fantasy Versus Rising. Uh, so the first thing I want to mention, I went in and like tested to make sure my controller was working already. Uh, the first thing I want to mention about is this title screen. Uh, if you think about the one from say Strive, uh, or like most games really, uh, it tells you press this button to start the game. Press other button to exit the game. Uh, here it says press any button, uh, but that's not true. If I press circle, I guess this is, it brings this up instead. So it probably should say that on the title screen, uh, but it, it doesn't. <laughs> it just says push any button, um, which is weird. Uh, but yeah, if I push, you know, any other button, uh, then we came to the server. This took a little while before. I don't know if it's just like my internet is crap at the moment or if uh, like the servers for Grand Blue are like really overloaded because the game just released or what. But yeah, this might take a little while. Uh, in theory, I believe this should work completely fine with the controller I'm using. Like it is detecting it without any issue. Um, I don't know what buttons Grand Blue uses. I'll have to find out. <laughs> Hopefully it's vaguely similar to something I'm used to, uh, but I did just play Melty Blood and it also changes things up a lot compared to the way Guilty Gear does things, so I was a little out of my depth. <laughs> um, so before we dive in, we're just going to go over the options here and make sure everything's okay. Uh... Oh yeah, this was interesting. Um, it looks like my network region devolved to Japan. I'm actually in Australia. You can probably tell from the way I sound. <laughs> um, but there isn't like an Oceania or anything like that. I assume Japan is the best option because Japan is close to Australia, but I, I guess I'll see how it goes. Um, there isn't a region for here, <laughs> which is a bit strange. Um, then you've got some more options and stuff. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Apparently you have camera movement. That might be for like digital figure mode. Uh, this game, I believe, is at least partially made by Arxis, so it has a lot of the same features and stuff uh, that, that uh, Guilty Gear games do, like a digital figure mode. Uh, it's got this button display thing, uh, which I definitely prefer using the universal buttons for these kind of games. It's the same thing you can do in Strive. Um, like, it defaults to using platform specific buttons like this, so if I connected a different type of controller it would show like ABXY or whatever. But if you set it like this it's gonna be easiest to learn for every controller because they all use the same L, M, H and U apparently. Um, I'm gonna just try the default buttons to start with and just see how I go. Uh, it looks like their colours do map to the four buttons. You can see light, medium, heavy and unique over there uh, map to the buttons I have, so that would make things relatively friendly. Uh, I can see a number of other options. It's a block button in this game? Interesting. I guess I'll see how that works later. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to stick with the defaults for now. Uh, Crossplay. I don't know what other platforms this game is on. Probably PS4. Uh, but yeah, you can do that. You can also swap these if you want, uh, which might be good if you're playing with like a Switch controller and you expect the A button on the right to be confirmed, which is nice. Uh, it also has like keyboard versus controller, like like any fighting game you can play with it. But I'm not sure what this does because I'm not familiar with the character designs at all. Uh, but I would assume that like 
uh, the fighting game changed things a little bit, and original is like Brand Blue the Gacha series or whatever. And um, that's about it. Um, there's also, you know, a bunch of standard stuff in here, uh, graphic settings and all that. Uh, and apparently it's a gift crate. Um, I don't know if we're doing the whole full-blown uh, free-to-play sort of game with weird stuff like that, but um, like, like this is the free-to-play game I'm playing right now, but there is a paid version. I don't know if it's still replete with microtransactions if you pick that version. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll have some, some rupees. I don't really know what this does yet, but yeah, I'll claim them. Okay. Um, I guess I probably just want to jump into uh, training mode and see if I can just get an idea of how this game plays. Okay, so as you can see, only four characters are available. Um, I believe the way the rotation works is that Gran here, who is in the title of the game, is going to be the main character, is always an option. And then the other three slots uh, will be rotating like weekly or something like that. So right now I've got Digita, who is basically girl Gran, or if you like post transition. <laughs> uh, and we've got Siegfried, who's got uh, a sword, uh, and Beta, who has a spear. Okay. I probably want to go with Digita because she's adorable. Uh, and she's also a five star ease of use, uh, and I don't know how to play this game yet. <laughs> uh, we've got color selection. Only a few colors, which is interesting. It might be that there's more if you buy them, like a DLC thing. Uh, and there are repeatedly more weapons and outfits, but I don't have access to any of them yet. Okay. Uh, and I'll play something against this guy, I suppose. Um, yeah, automatic everything. I don't know if this game has kick-ass vocal tracks the way uh, Guilty Gear does, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> uh, there's a little loading icon under my face right now. I'm not going to move because it's... Okay, in training mode, yeah, you can do training mode things. Situational training? Yeah, basics tab, that sounds good. I mean, I am familiar with fighting games, but I wonder how this one works. Track and movement, that's normal. So I think locking might be different. Good. Okay, just holding back does work, but I think there's a separate block button I can use. Good. There it is, it's on my room and cancel button. Okay. But can you just always block if you're holding that? Do you need to block high and low still? Finish. Not sure. It does mean you can block high without walking backwards, which is interesting. Um, okay, so there's a dash macro, and otherwise the inputs are pretty normal. Okay. Triple attack. Okay, so you can. Like basically spam a button and you'll get a, you'll get a bit of a free combo. Great. Oh, oh, oh. Here's my M button. Great. Great. Hmm. I'm trying to use this. It says stand unblockable finisher if I do 6M, but that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, there we go. Okay, I just need to do it faster. Okay. 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 So it's got a bit of an a bit of an auto combo system. I don't know if it only works at close range. It might. Looks like it's easier to use hold forward and then you get like the, the special finisher. Um <laughs> Good. Okay. Finish. 
uh, dash attacks. While dashing, continue holding Brad and push any dash attack button other than you to perform a dash attack. Throwing? Oh, throwing is a bit different. Okay, so it's L U or L M, or by simply hitting whatever that button is. There is a throw macro. Uh, I just want to jump in to make sure I know where that is. That's not it. That's it. Okay, so I'm probably gonna want to move my move that around. It's currently on my dash macro button, and the one that would be throw seems to be something else. I don't know what that is. Throw backwards? Yeah, cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can tech out of a throw. Maybe they thought that they, they teched me or something. Plus over or a bay, pressing a directional button and something. I can't really see what button that is. Oh, it's block? That's uh, this button. Good. Okay, so you can sort of dash through rather than having to jump over. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't actually have a double jump or air dashing. Okay. So that block button is clearly needed to play the game properly. Good. Finish. Okay. Keeps you from being grounded for a bit. Okay. Finish. Easy enough. Skill. I mean, something. Looks like there's a skill macro. I think that's the one I was pressing earlier. Oh, now I'm playing as a different character. That's dash. That one is throw. This one's skill. Okay, okay. Actually, I'm using more bar when I do the stronger version. And I'm not sure what bar that is, though, because I'm not really seeing one. <laughs> Ultimate skills. Skill plus U. I haven't actually used the U button for anything yet. Fighting games that aren't Guilty Gear like to do this thing where you press two specific attack buttons together to do an action, like a throw or a raging strike or something or other. Um, it's just not really a thing in Guilty Gear. You have four regular attack buttons and you have like the dust button, and dust plus a direction is how you do specific things like throws and sweeps and stuff like that. Um, which is what I'm used to, obviously, because, you know, I'm a Guilty Gear gal. Um... Uh, so it's interesting that that doesn't seem to be how most other fighting games work. Um... Oh, I can, I can keep doing it if I press the same buttons again. Bravery points or something? I'm not quite sure what those are yet. Brave counters? Okay, so M plus H. There seem to be a lot of things that use Brave. And it's the same combo for all of them. Yeah. 
Ah, it's too close. Okay, so that's kind of like a... Oh, is it purple? The, the Roman council you can use uh, when, when you're in Blockstone. It's kind of like that. Finish. Okay. Skybound Arts, are those my supers? I'm pressing some buttons I can't see because they're very small. Grow plus skill. Uh, that's these ones, I think. Neat. Yeah, I'm just saying I'm gonna want to swap these buttons around. You can see the arrangement they're in, in the bottom thing. Uh, like, that's block. Uh, but that's my bottom left button, not my top right button. Uh, so, yeah, swapping these around would be a good idea. So they're a bit more intuitive. Uh... Uh, I've already forgotten what they were looking like before. Uh, block and skill, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, block above skill. Oh, and there's a special button for Brave. Oh, that is a separate thing. Fine. Can I like that? Yes. Not the Electro? Yeah. Okay, that's still wrong. Oh, there we go. You have to press X first and then the button? That's kind of confusing. Uh, that one. Throw with that one and that one. That one. That's probably more intuitive. Oh, no. Okay, throw and dash are backwards. <laughs> okay, almost right, almost right. <laughs> yeah, it's very fiddly. Uh... Four of these buttons are quite important, so I may need to adjust it some more later. Uh, I'm currently using, like you can look here, uh, these four on the right are what I'm using, uh, and those are kind of hard to reach when you're over here, so it might make sense to set it up so that the four attack buttons are these middle ones, and then on left and right you've got uh, dash and kill and throw and block. Maybe. Something about it. Uh, so we're on skills like this. Oh, that's not true. Uh, sorry. Okay, so the bottom is there. Okay. Finish. Okay. Do this guy down, Darts. Oh, you can press U at the same time and get something even better. Right. Catastrophe. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. And yeah, again, um, this setup where you have, uh, like, pressing several buttons simultaneously to activate a super is not something I'm super used to either. Because again, Guilty Gear does it by having, like, a bunch of directions you input and then you press one of the attack buttons. Uh, like, maybe like this, for example. It doesn't do anything in this game. Um, but yeah, it's something, like, I am used to, and it's not quite what I expect. <laughs> oh, no, it's pretty 
catastrophic. I wonder why it switched me to Gram. I feel like I could do all of these things as Vegeta. Hmm. Let's try going into a little bit of actual gameplay to get a, a gist of how this game rolls. The story? A video? Maybe? Have a look. If the story mode is playable, then I think that would probably be a good pick, but it might be a video. Um... Oh no, this is playable. Okay. These guys are not very fun to fight. <laughs> it's just running around and hitting people. It's like some sort of chain of like separate hits, which really aren't a combo. I'm not sure what the chain does. <laughs> Okay. That was definitely a beat em up. Is it, is it still going to be a beat em up? We got the arrow and everything. Oh, the boys are going a bit strong, so I actually have to use a bit of a combo. It's the triple attack thing, which is basically an auto combo. Sounds like this game doesn't have an English album. Wish I'm hearing it in Japanese. <laughs> hey Catalina. Oh, are you a villain? それらの果てを目指して旅をするんじゃなくてのかよ。王子内のならば、剣を構えろ、グラ。なぜこうなったのか。帝国で実験隊とされていた青の少女、ルリアを救うため、帝国軍の騎士だった語里奈さんは、
そろそろアルビオンに向かう航路に乗るからよ準備できてんのかって思ってなもうそんな時期か姉さんに会うのも久しぶりだなって言っても10日だけどねでもこんなにカタリナと離れ離れになったのは初めてかもしれませんしかしあのカタリナがルリアと10日も別行動とはなルラン随分信頼されてんじゃねえの<笑>大事な用事って言ってたけど無事に終わったのかなその辺は心配いらねえだろうさあオイラたちは準備しようぜおうアムイオのやつにも言っといてくれ、はい、Oh yeah, probably too There's no battle in this Oh, okay. Okay, so sometimes you fight stuff and sometimes you don't. Oh, can I skip over that or do I have to watch it? I think I have to. So I'm gonna go back and do something that's more got more gameplay. Uh, I'm just gonna go into arcade mode. Uh, just that'll just give me a, a roster of opponents to, to fight, which is probably what I'm looking for. Am I picking a CPU? I shouldn't need one, right? Unless this is like a two-player mode. RK doesn't only work that way though. Gita. Like your opponent, I'm picking an opponent, and it can be anyone apparently. I'm a little confused. Um. But why do I need to pick an opponent if I'm playing in arcade mode? Oh, right. Basaraga. Almost pickled the opponent. Oh yeah, Gran and Jita are kind of the same person from different universes or something, so it's fun to read it as her being post-transition. It's super cute. Maybe it put me in versus mode and I picked the wrong thing. Doesn't seem likely though. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Came from the command list. Um. Oh, okay. So there, there aren't any like conventional specials you use by putting in quarter circles. Unless technical inputs? Oh! Oh, hang on. Yeah, I want the technical inputs. Okay, so you can just press the skill button, or you can go to technical inputs and it gives you normal stuff. Okay, so I have a fireball, which I can charge. Eight. Uh, and that's any of my regular attack buttons, it looks like. Uh, cool. Rising sword. Yeah, okay, so that, that's, that's just a dragon punch on the dragon punch input. Vocal blade. Okay, so kind of like Dire Clad. Okay. And that one's got a follow up I can use. Okay. Interesting. So basically, the way it works is by default, you use the, the skill button to get to all of this stuff. But you can switch it giving you regular inputs. Okay. I like that. Um, I'm going to use the regular inputs because I like them. But that's, that's, that's really good for people who like have trouble with those inputs, I suppose. And I imagine, like, it's balanced so that either way works properly. Uh, is I'm assuming so. Like, it, it might not be the case. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and then I have SBA gauge. Okay, so, to do that, you do the same, uh, motion, but you press the U button instead. Okay. And then ra Raging Strike and stuff is universal. Skybound Art? Oh, okay, so it's double quarter circle forward. Okay. Or a single core sword with a skill button. Okay. And a super art, double core sword. Okay, cool. Okay, so, so, yeah, it's like. Interesting. Yeah, if I press that, it only shows me the simple input. Uh, I don't actually know how to do a throw without the macro. I think it was two buttons together, but I forget which one. So I might be using macro for that, but. Yeah, it's, 
sounds like I can probably use regular room, like I'm um, regular fighting game and books for this. Okay, you are uh, uh, very resilient. It's not registering my quarter circles. Alright, right. Might be a bit more picky than this. And yeah, this is arcade mode. I just pick my opponent for arcade mode, apparently. That's a really weird. <laughs> Battle two. Engage. Uh, I keep going for my usual uh, throw button rather than the one in this game. I might just change it to the this one. But... Ow. Rude. Yeah, it does seem to be pickier uh, when you're doing quarter circles and stuff and using right. We're not having an air dash. Okay. <laughs> Finish. Oh, Lyria appeared under my face. Uh, I might move my face, but I want to be able to see her. Uh, face over this side, real quick. Okay. okay, and it gives me like little stats and stuff. Oh, I see. Okay, so you pick who you're fighting next, uh, and it's like a difficulty thing. Uh, where if you want to play against a tougher opponent, you can, but you don't have to. Okay, okay. Quite a different way of doing things. It's still random, I suppose, but it's using different rules. Hmm. Oh, you're you're a sheep. <laughs> like you got the horns. Oh, and you're and you're riding on a sheep. Well. Wow. Oh. oh, you're a sleepy sheep. I get it. <laughs> Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. <laughs> Oh, she can talk to Gaffy. Okay. I, I can't tell what people are saying in like the victory lines and stuff, it's not subtitled. The Japanese isn't that good. <laughs> Alright, they might. Let me have a look here. Oh, voice language, that can be changed. Okay, I'll have a look at that in a moment. It's weird that it's not subtitled given the display language is set to English though. Oh, something to do with the wall? I don't think this game has wall breaks, but maybe it does something with the wall, I don't know. Yeah, it just seems like the wall is just there to remind you that you can't go any further, more than anything else. Thank you, Lyria. Yeah. 
the animation is really nice. Um, I'm going to go back to the menu and try to change the language settings, but I don't know if I can do that in that case mode. Versus Lancelot. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. I'm just gonna go back to the main menu and check the. Uh, voice language settings, see if I can make it easy to understand. And sound and language? Yeah, voice language English, there you go. It does have a dub. Uh, sure. Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. It's only got Japanese and English. It doesn't have, like, for example, Korean, which Drive has, but eh. It's nice to have at least some options. Uh, it's got to reconnect to the server. <laughs> Interesting that it defaulted to giving the English text and Japanese voices. I don't think Strive does that. I think it defaults to your language for everything, if it can. No, it's a bit odd. Okay, um... Let's see what my presents are. At least they're just playing the game a little bit. I did some challenges. Uh, that's that's a uh, that's very um, free to play mobile game. Fits us. <laughs> um, let's go back into arcade mode. Uh, I'm enjoying Vegeta, but I might want to try one of the other characters because they do ch it does change who's playable. Uh, and I don't want to, like, miss out on my chance to try everyone who's currently playable. So let's try Zeta. Zeta. Oh, Zeta. Let's try Zeta. Uh... Oh, you can turn off to implement if you want. Okay. But I, I want him on, obviously, because that's how I roll. Uh, and you're gonna fight... Charlotta. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one normal is fine. Happy look what, uh, Zeta's moveset is. Get into the game. Fine. Okay, it's kind of cute that Charlotte is standing on a box. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. That's for technical input. Uh, infinite wonders. Oh, I have a beam. Neat. That's cool. Fear of Arves. A rush attack. Okay. Uh, double crouch to get a rising attack. Uh, do the same thing in mid at a dive. Okay. Rhapsody. Oh, I can like parry. Oh, I see. So I can block and then pull out of the block with various things. Interesting. Great. I don't have to worry about attacks whiffing because she's so short. I don't know if it works that way. Or it's like she's a, like the right height that normal attacks will get. Also, I'm not sure if her, if her crown comes to the hitbox. I don't think it probably does, but I'm not sure. Ow.
win. Probably don't need to tell me explodes like that, so I Battle two. Engage. They great a lot. Jada's move set over this one. Uh, but I'll still try them all and see how I do. Jada's more like a standard Shoto. This one's a little bit different. Well, isn't this a cool You're going to have my feelings someday. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Slow. Mm. Great. Like that? No! Like that? Oh, you can do that? Okay. I don't know what this guy does. <laughs> I'm just still learning. As we go. He steps on you a lot. Great. What's this? How is that? Great! You don't care. Notorious. Let's turn up the floor. That was incredible. Player one, win. Battle two, engage. Oh, those are the bravery points. There's the little diamonds above the um black black bar are bravery points. I'm definitely hearing some uh, vocals in this song, but there may be fighting a uh, new rock album that I can acquire. <laughs> Jada has bodies for a key. Look, Jada, I know I've got the advantage when it comes to reach, but I won't go soft on you. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage! impression the uh the window for attacking a throw is quite large in this game. Player one win. It's unusual. Battle two. Engage. Cut to the chick! 
specials work is that they have like a cooldown, uh, which maybe only applies if you're using the skill button to activate them. I haven't seen, haven't seen to have run into it, but... Hmm. Oh, unless that's why the inputs weren't working when I was using Jita's, um, projectile earlier. Like, it was registering them, but it hadn't cooled down and I didn't realize that was a thing. Maybe? Oh. I'll keep experimenting. <laughs> yeah? Well, neither do I, tough guy. Let's make this quick. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage! Yeah, it looks like it. You can see, um... Next to the, my 8% there, there was like a bar, a box filling up. I think you can't use the same super, like, special again until it fills up, regardless of how you use it. This won't happen again. Player one. I guess that kind of balances the two styles of input, because you still can't spam your specials even if you're using the skill button. Yeah, I'm pretty good fighting games. <laughs> Score one for me. Okay. I won. You lost. <laughs> hey, this is where you're supposed to get all mad and suffery. Writing in this game is a bit goofy, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Set up versus you. Oh, oh, she's the the This ain't good. I'm too hungry to keep on searching. Oh, I like your design. Yeah. You want to grab a bite after this? I really hope your move set is fun because that is that no is. Isn't... Way. I oh, I am. Aren't you fucking sorry? I tried to press the combo for um a blue cyburst, which is not a thing in this game. <laughs> No air dash. Just forgetting. <laughs> I expect an air dash. I wish I could fight like you. Well, so is Lyria not playable? At least you have your pride. I haven't I seen her in the family's foxy magic, and I just have to say I'm not disappointed. What do you say we go grab a couple drinks to cool off? 
Are you flirting with her? I really hope you are. <laughs> Zeta versus Nier. Oh, Nier Automata? Oh, hang on, you're a cat girl. Let's destroy everything. Everyone. Oh, I am vibing with your aesthetic. Oh, that's cool. What the? Who's spitting your cereal? Well, <laughs> if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you get. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Hey, what did you like? Um. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, you summon it. Public, you're a public character, okay. Oh, I'm not going to be able to play as you. Change out the little, little like Lyria who gives you compliments oh, for another character. Look, I think you can pick anyone in the game. The I'm gonna experiment with that in just a little bit. I won't hurt you anymore, but promise me you'll play nice with the rest of the crew. Oh, uh, I guess this is the boss because I can't pick anyone else. <laughs> boss time. I wonder if that's how you unlock this character, because I think this one was locked. Like, beat them in arcade mode and then you can play as them. Wouldn't be a new, wouldn't be new, a new rule if running games do it that way. Hello! Your weapon is worthless that's pretty. Me. Now step aside. Fighting an astral's bad enough, let alone a total psycho. Oh, don't use that word. Gonna be sore tomorrow. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. <laughs> Keep expecting dashing to work in midair, and it doesn't. This game doesn't have air dashes. Great. <laughs> Four double jumps. It's weird not having air options. <laughs> Oh, the hell you saw? It's a key button? Hmm. Okay. I'm on fire. Player one, win. Go do. Battle two, engage. I really like the little little chippy friends. That's very cute. So you are some kind of astral primal beast hybrid? There's some real crazy people out there. At the end of our game? 
Sure is. Do I get a prize? In. Credits? No, to be continued. Fine. I got the present. That is completing the, the mode. This is a daily challenge associated with that. Okay. Um. I think there's one more character I haven't tried yet. Who is this one? Siegfried. Siegfried. Um. Yeah, I don't see Lyria here. I don't think Lyria is actually playable. Catalina. Is it a shot? I'm guessing probably more of like a heavy hitter kind of thing, a spade, but maybe not. We'll see. Siegfried versus Catalina. As I bear this blade, I won't give in to fear. Come and meet me head on. Conquer your own mind. But you conquer the whole world. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Uh, let's see. I've got the gun flame, basically. Feels like a gun flame, anyway. Um. Okay. Uh, great advancing. Just a lot of hitting with the sword, basically, is the impression I'm getting. Oh, okay, and I can press you to burn my HP and create more attack power. Yeah, Ramlethal has one of these. I forget uh, the exact name because it's Esperanto, but it looks like that. <laughs> and I think it's the same input. <laughs> Okay, um, I don't have a way to launch my actual sword, I just have a few gun flames. Yeah, we do. Oh, oh, wow, my projectile is slow. What was I expecting? Yeah, you sort of sit there for a little bit. That one, that version's really fast. Hmm. Yeah. I was right about the, like, slower character to get a bit harder sort of thing. Oh, something's going weird with the frame rate, maybe? Oh. I can't believe okay. This victory belongs to the crowd. Player one. I definitely am I'm not already, like, I'm not enjoying this guy as much. <laughs> Engage. He does have a projectile, which I always like. No escape. That's his super sky down Lots of, lots of sorting. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm definitely not enjoying this guy as much. Even if he does have a couple of uh, moves that remind me of Ramlethal, you whom I love. Yourself. <laughs> courage is your greatest strength. But you must remember, there are some monsters' blades. Siegfried versus Luwei. Right, is that just like three three cat boys? So warm. Awesome. It's just so three cat boys. <laughs> I was thinking like chili dogs, but we're out of weeds. What's going on? Grocery <laughs> quest. I would be happy to fetch weeds right after this bat. 
Okay, that's really funny. <laughs> Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Okay, he's running backwards animation is cute too. I like you, Lewayne. Can I play as you? No, I can't save by the game. But you're cute. You. What the heck just happened? Sorry, we got a bit caught up. Player one. Battle two. Engage. the smoke of battle, you find yourself. I don't believe I've ever thanked you for your wonderful work in the kitchen. Your food is what makes our ship a home. Alright. We're just going ahead so I can meet some more characters. Oh, are you... What are those ears? Are you like a fox? There are a lot of animal girls in this game. <laughs> They say that Siegfried knows every trick in the book, but if anyone can surprise him, it's our spooky pack. Oh, you've got little ghosties. Have mercy on an old man. I hope this game's taking a bit of trouble with the lip sync, too. Uh, I assume it's, you know, was done in Japanese first. Uh, but Thrive is generally better about that uh, when you're playing in English. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a cool thing you can do. Oh, you fought with a whip. Neat. Ow. Yeah, you're more of a ranged fighter, and I am not. <laughs> this victory belongs to the crowd. Player one, win. <laughs> Battle two, engage. Fight, fight. Ah! Friends that the summons can be like handed to fight me in some way. Kind of like Jackie's servants. I'm not sure how exactly sure how it works. Oh, you Thanks, Laria. Amid the smoke of battle, how heavy is your heart that it would keep you pinned to this world? I'm just going ahead like this because I keep meeting different characters and get a little sense of good in the game. Metera. Oh my god, you also have animal ears. What's going on with this setting? <laughs> Drop dead gorgeous and a gentleman. Oh. Oh, okay. You're you're you you written like this. Whether or not I'm cool with this depends on what, how you react to the female fighters. Is this mere flattery? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try fighting fighting her with like Jita later and see what happens. We're our own worst critics. 
Believe in victory. Battle one. Does he know bow is your weapon? So I'm assuming you're a Zona. <laughs> The smoke. I don't know if um the little friend is a new thing in Rising or if the original GBVS did that. I think it might be new based on what I've seen people playing about this game, but I'm not sure. Hey Jita. Siegfried versus Jita. Man, just watching the train makes me sweat. I like how she has little friends, it's so cute. Ready to crank up the tempo? Of course. It gets dull dancing to one two. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. That's it. Out of escape. Great. Quickly growing into great power. That's as much a matter of selling. Siegfried versus Andre. Andre. Okay. Another tiny. Are you close? Your fame precedes you, Dragon Slayer. Rumors suggest your power surpasses that of any mortal. If you've no objections, who's voicing you? Test those rumors. Not like Let's say we give the bards a new verse, a new battle to sing of. My Maybe? claws against your spear. That seems unlikely, but that, that was the voice I was hearing. Battle. Time to go. Engage. <laughs> It wasn't exactly the same, it just sounded a bit like it's not likely to be done. Fiddle. 
table stakes. You're a living fortress. Player one, win. Battle two, engage. Look, use your head. Great team. Oh, the see. Start again with this. Really weird round in my fight. I don't know if they have any ammo, but I'm like a tragedy. It's like, look at this. This is an anime fire, obviously, Each but it, it, do, it doesn't have no double jumps or air dashes. Next. Well, the certain characters do, but I haven't found any that do, so... A true desperate and Beelzebub is the boss. I assume that's always the case. Hi, Beelzebub. Hey, Doom. Like your hair. Flies can't become dragons. And a mortal cannot escape death. Perhaps. But I don't need all of eternity to slit your throat. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage! <laughs> I'm still not really vibing with Siegfried's moveset. I definitely prefer someone a bit quicker rather than your slow, uh, hard hitting kind of character. There we go. Thanks. You're my best. Amid the smoke of battle, you find remember this. If you ever points a nice little artwork. Spin. Okay, um be continued. Maybe when I have the full version, it goes past that point. I don't know. Um anyway, let me just uh have a look at some of the other options we have here. If I haven't really done that. Standard online stuff. E game. Just a profile. Oh yeah, partner. Partner character. Oh, I see. So, in the free version, I have Lyria, Vern, and Gran. But you can see, if I buy the game, I can get pretty much anyone. Um, I'm gonna leave it on Lyria. I like Lyria. But yeah, you can see. Pretty much every character in the game appears to be included here. Uh, even someone look- Oh, hello! I was not expecting that. Uh, these characters are from, uh, Uma Musume, Pretty Derby. Uh, they are not from Grand Blue. They, they are from... a completely different show and game about horse girls. Uh, this is the main character from the anime, uh, she's named after a real-life horse, that's why her name is so fucking weird. But yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of characters here who are from that and not from Grand Blue. <laughs> Did not expect that, um... Interesting. Okay, um, I guess they did, like, a crossover. Cute. Um... And stuff. What I really want to check is here in the store. 
Oh yeah, I can buy them all the full game. I, I won't just yet, but I want to check the stuff that's using in-game currency. Uh, yeah, I can buy more character colors. Apparently for characters I can't play as. Okay, yeah, there's a bunch of them here. Okay, okay, so you unlock them by, by doing this. Okay. Uh, looks like I can get some costumes and stuff in here. The thing I want to know is basically, do you only get the special currency by playing the game? Uh, like World Dollars in Strive? Or is there like a microtransaction thing? Uh, because... Given that this game is free to play, I'm worried that there might, there might be something going on here. Let's see. Uh... Uh, and that unlocks a bunch of DLC characters and stuff. Hmm. I don't know. My guess, based on what I've seen, is that the rupee currency is literally just an in-game thing, and you don't spend currency on it, you just play the game and get rewarded with it. Um, which is how Strive worked. And still works, that's how that game currently works. Uh, and I'm fine with that. Um, I think if the game is rewarding you for playing it by letting you unlock more stuff from the game, that's that's fine. Uh, and honestly, like, a shop like this where you can just pick what you want and have it, probably better than the thing in Strive, which is like a gacha system. Uh, so I like that. Uh... Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Okay, um... Well, I wanted to I wanted to go in with Jita one more time anyway, so let me just grab her a really fun weapon. Um, go with the fish, right? The character level. Oh, I see LV. Okay. Um, they have all the weapon skins. Okay, I think what that means is all of these will unlock just from playing the game, uh, and getting experience as a certain character, you automatically unlock their weapon skins. Uh, which is good. That 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 sort of um, goes in with the thing I was worried about, where you might need to spend premium currency to unlock stuff. It sounds like you don't even need to spend currency; it just unlocks based on on gameplay, which which is good. I will buy that one anyway, even though I could unlock it in another way, uh, just so that I can. I'm just gonna go back into just say versus mode. Uh, and I make myself Jita. And I'll put my weapon out for the fish, of course. Oh, in versus mode you can't pick any character. You have to... Okay. Um, I guess that makes sense, because versus mode is where you play against another player locally. Uh, but if I go to arcade mode like this... Gita. There we go. Change the weapon to the fish. There we go. And then I can pick any opponent. Uh, so I'm gonna pick... Metara. Or... Oh, Meteora? This one. Meteora. Meteora, thank you. <laughs> uh, I just want to see how they interact in, um, at the start, like, in, in their quotes and stuff. Gita versus Meteora. Meteora. If you're bored, we can go hit on a few guys. I don't love that. <laughs> hit on guys. So you want me? Oh, to... oh, I like that response. That's cute. That's for ya. You're not gonna do it, right? <laughs> no promises. Believe in oh, I like her. <laughs> Engage. Oh yeah, there's no air dash in this Keep trying to air dash, and it's like, no, this particular anime fighter doesn't do that, unlike every other anime fighter. Okay, and I want to try it again with better and see if, if it's still like, I'm gonna, let's go hit on guys together, or if it's something different. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm playing as a Shoto and I'm facing like a hardcore zoner here, so it's not going too well. <laughs> so, Shoto. Player one wins. The archetype is called Shoto. It's very close to another word that I would like it not to be close to, but alas, it is. The little little friend is so cute. I love that little mechanic. I also love that apparently I can just have horse girls from a different show that show up. I, I say show. It's it's a different. It, there is a gacha game of Uma Musume as well, uh, which I haven't played. Uh, but the anime is what I'm familiar with, and the anime has those characters in it. <laughs> I trusted you. I thought you were different. I'm really vibing with your writing. You're really cool. Come on, Lyria. Chin up. Lost memories. Nothing a tussle can't fix. But she's glaring eyes. Promise me you'll be careful. You bet. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. I should switch over to Zeta and see how um a Terra reacts to reacts to her. Battle two. Engage. Zeta. Zeta. I didn't get you a second weapon, so. On the death Terra, there the you are. Oh, yeah, I'm down with that. Here to show me how you do it? Believe in victory. Yeah, like, like, if, if you were going to flirt with other women as well, I, I, I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, damn, she's very good. I guess. Um, I like that there's a free version of this game available. It's essentially a demo because you only play a couple of characters and a lot of the stories aren't there, etc. It's nice to have a demo. Um, I appreciate that. 
Um, I'm liking a lot of the character design. Uh, I think it was Nia, the one who's like, uh, puppeteering death or whatever. That's super cool. I really like that design. Uh, and the the goofy cat boy with his cat boy friends is really so really cute. Um, and I like uh, Jada and her buddies and. I I'm liking a lot of the design of the characters here. Um, I, I do... In terms of, like, the gameplay design, I feel like maybe the conventional fighting game inputs are a little compromised, uh, if that makes sense. By the way, this, uh, this game is assuming that you're going to be using the skill button. Um, like, for example, uh, Spear of our Vest, that's like a charging forward sort of thing. Um, but, and it's just, it's just, um, six skill, uh, in, in the simple mode, but in technical mode, it's a dragon punch input, and that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, because it's, it's not a dragon punch, and it, it's not going to work anything like one. Uh, it's closer to, like, something like this, like a quarter circle forward sort of motion, but that's already taken because that's that's a projectile. Um, and then this one, that looks like a dragon punch, but it's on down or down down. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this one using quarter circle back makes sense. Uh, I get that one. But yeah, I, I feel like maybe it's a little uh, conflicted between the way it's trying to make this all real simple and have a single button you press to do your specials, which is a, is a good idea. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, this is essentially like how Smash Bros works, where you have the B button and then you press the direction to pick the special you want, and it works fine there. Um, but yeah, this game is also trying to be more of a normal fighting game when you have stuff like this, uh, and I'm not sure it's quite nailing that combination. Um, but it does, it, like, the, like, like I thought that the inputs weren't working in some places because it was on a cooldown, but it needs to be on a cooldown because you can just hit the button immediately to get a special out and not have to put in some sort of input first. Um, like, in, yeah, I think these more complicated inputs in a lot of fighting games are there as a bit of a balancing tactic, so you can't instantly do everything. Uh, it requires like a little bit of finesse uh, and will take a few a few frames for you to do that rather than just immediately coming out with whatever um, and like that's a tricky thing to balance in a game like this that's trying to do uh, simultaneously have the conventional style from like Street Fighter basically coined this uh, basically into uh, this style as well as like a Smash Bros style thing where you have a skill button and then you push a direction to do something special. Um, I also haven't really been using the block button. I'm aware it's there and that I'm supposed to be using it, but um, I've found regular blocking is fine uh, for blocking. Um, but I don't think I can do things like the cross up move or the evade with that. I think you have to press the block button for those. Um, which is, uh, I feel a little limiting. I feel like buttons outside of the standard, like, set of attack buttons should always be, like, a macro, something you can do with the regular buttons in some way. Um, like, for example, to compare with Guilty Gear, because that's my game, uh, dashing does dash macro, but you can also just dash by tapping twice. Uh, there is a macro for forming a Roman Council, we can also just hit three attack buttons. There's a macro for faultless defense, we can just hit two attack buttons, that kind of thing. Um, the exception being, I think, Taunt, uh, is usually something you might have a dedicated button because you don't really need to taunt, um, like, ever. Uh, so having it on a button that you map if you feel like you want to be able to taunt and nowhere else makes sense. Um, I think you can taunt in this game, but I don't know how. Um, it might be something to do with the, with the, uh, the U button, the unique action thing. Um, I like this thing where, like, you use the same inputs for your regular skills, but 
if you add the U button to it, uh, then they use up your gauge and become really strong. Uh, I like that. Um, because that, this is a thing that doesn't happen in, in, in Strive. Like, you have overdrives, but they're separate moves. They're not like, here is the same move, but it uses some meter, so it's better. Um, and yeah, I think it's neat that you can do that. Um, Raging Strike, I feel like this is probably a bit like... I feel like there's a mechanic like this in a lot of games. Um, I think maybe Drive Rush or something in Street Fighter, I think is what it's called. I haven't, I haven't actually played Street Fighter. Uh, Street Fighter 6, I've played some of the old ones. Um, but I think it's called something like that. And this seems similar, also Wild Assault, uh, and there's a mechanic in Multi-Blood that I think is a bit like this too. Um, where it's using, like, your backup resource or whatever to give you a universal, like, sneak in, sneaky hit that you can just pull out at any time that everyone has. Um, and this counter, like I said, it reminded me of one of the types of Roman Cancel. Uh, I think it's purple, but the exact colours I can't always remember. <laughs> uh, but this is using Bravery Points, which are a separate resource rather than your meter, so it's a bit different for Roman Cancel. Um... Oh, is that how Skybound arts work? Okay, I, I, I didn't I didn't quite follow this before. Um, you need the entire gauge full to use one at all, uh, and it is also stronger if your um, health is really low. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. All right. Um, and then these ones use half the gauge, so they, these are like your overdrives, and then you have like a super double overdrive thing, which is Skybound art. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's see. Uh, the voice acting seems pretty good. Um, it's sillier. Um, like characters seem pretty goofy. Um, I don't have a problem with that. I think it's good. I think it's fun. Um, but it might be veering a little too far into the Buffy speak kind of thing. <laughs> um, like not not everyone, but the character I'm playing as right now, she said she talks a bit like Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like, yeah, it's, it's a bit bit of a tired way of doing things in 2023, given that Rocky is like, like multiple decades old at this point. Um, what else? The lack of air movement options is just going to weird me out forever. Um, because this, this is an anime fighting game. It's anime as hell, uh, but it doesn't have that one thing that, like, anime fighting games generally have, which is air movement options. Uh, like, they're, they're, like, an air dash, uh, a double jump, potentially both. Um, it's just, it's just a bit strange. Um, it's possible, like, like I said, it's possible some characters have, uh, extra movement options in mid-air, uh, but they don't seem to have it as a general mechanic. It's that's... Okay, uh, so you don't get the little graph thing like in Strive, but you can look at exactly what happened and sort of examine like how the fight went a little bit. Huh, interesting. That's actually more detailed, but um, oh, Ladiva, I wanted to meet her. Um, I'll just, I'll just do this one fight and then I'm gonna call it a video. I just want to see how she plays, or talks at least. Now here's the kind of unbreakable spirit a gal can really appreciate. Not to mention you're every bit as sharp as that spin you carry. Give me a shout if you ever want to become a duelist. Your voice is cute. I like it. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment, but a fight is still a fight. I don't plan on losing. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage! So... Oh. I would guess because she's a wrestler, she's like a grappler or something. That's a grab. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing that she's a grappler. That that makes sense to me. Uh, if you're not familiar with the character and you're wondering why I'm saying she, uh, this character is a trans woman. Um, and that's pretty cool. Um, 
like, seeing a trans girl, like, who, you know, has a beard and does not care and likes it is, is neat. <laughs> uh, because, especially because she's not the only trans character in the game. Uh, Cagliostro, who I'll bring up in a moment, is also trans. Uh, and she's, like, completely different. Um, and it's, it's nice seeing, like, different kinds of people, uh, I guess. <laughs> Uh, hang on, let me just go back and bring up Park Tagli off so you can see her. Oop! Back to select. That's opponent. There she is. Cagliostro. Cagliostro. Okay, yeah, I can pronounce it like that. <laughs> But yeah, um, Kekliostro is like an alchemist or something, and she created the body that she's living in now, which is why she's adorable and tiny. <laughs> I'm Dr. Keg, here to teach you about all things cute. Classes are starting. Cutology 101? You think I have a chance of getting in? Give it a shot! But you're already cute! Too cute to I think Larrier and Jada would be cute Believe together. In victory. Battle 1. Engage! But yeah, Kakliostra here, she made the body that she's living in, um, using her alchemy powers and stuff. Uh, and I believe she actually offered to do the same for Ladeva, like give her a more conventionally formed body than she wanted. Uh, but she actually, but uh, Ladeva actually turned her down because she liked the one she's got right now, which I think is really cool. Trying out. Player one, win. Um have, like, these two completely different takes on trans femininity. Uh... Yeah, they're both valid, obviously. Adorable. <laughs> Pulling off cute all the time seems like a lot of hard work. I personally prefer the no frills approach. Makes it easier for me to kick tiny. Hmm, fair enough. I don't seem to be able to cancel out until it's loaded the next map. Weird. Anyway, um Yeah, um I guess I've given a lot of thoughts on this game. Um I'm probably going to buy it. I don't know if I'm going to go for the deluxe version or the regular one, but, um... I, I'm liking an awful lot of stuff about this game. Um, it does... It is weirding me out that the inputs are just a little bit different, and it doesn't quite feel like the motion inputs map correctly to the things they do in every case. Um, which is, I guess, to be expected if they were designing with the basic skills first. Uh, and then added the technical input, like, as a backup plan sort of thing, which is the vibe I'm getting from the way it works. Um... But, yeah, like... I feel like this music is something I'm familiar with as a game. Maybe like Sonic game? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> oh gosh. But yeah, in general I'm really liking this and the things that I'm not loving so much, the things I'm probably just going to get used to, uh, like, the different approach to the inputs and stuff. Um... 
I feel a little weird about these times challenges each day. Uh, that doesn't really feel like it fits. Um, but it's also probably not a problem. If you fight someone really good, make sure you save every. I love the little partner character thing. That's so adorable. <laughs> um. And yeah. Um. Like, it's just a little bit different from what I was expecting in terms of how it plays. And I don't... Fight, oh, cute. I, I don't, like, dislike that. It's just a little strange. Um, Actually, I haven't been into the proper training mode. I mean, I did for a little bit, but I didn't have a good look at it. Let me just jump in real quick and... G -dub. Oh, in training mode, you can't actually pick anyone, only the unlocked characters. Zeta. Okay. I just wanted to check um, stuff like Gita. the input display and Versus whether it shows you like frame data and stuff. Um, just just to be sure. Okay, there is no input display by default. Uh, let me change some settings. Click menu. Okay, here we go. Uh, virtual controller, input log. Yeah, I can turn on a bunch of stuff. We'll turn everything on so we can see what, what is available to us. Uh, uh, go, go. Okay, they're all on now. Oh, that's, that is busy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have uh, a lot of frame data here. You can see it's showing like the total frames each time I press an attack button, and making me look red when I'm minus on when like my frame advantage is, is minus. Okay, I like that. Um, and yeah, the input log is pretty standard. And then my little controller here, like we were seeing earlier, is showing me everything everything I'm inputting, which is nice. Uh, in the middle there, we've got like a display of I think those are the skills I have, and like, the shortcut ways of using them or something. I'm not really sure exactly what, what that display in the middle is for. But yeah, you get really, really good frame data here. That is extremely informative. Um, and you've got a nice input display. Uh, you don't seem to have visible kit boxes, which... Kinda normal. Oh, hang on. To block each attack? Where does it show that? Oh, I see. Right, yeah, when a hit lands, it says high or low. I like that. That's neat. Great. Oh, and I'm yellow if this if the advantage just doesn't happen. Okay, okay, I'm get I'm getting it. It's a good training work. <laughs> you, you get lots of information, as you can see. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I can change position. Oh, I see. We can go over to the edges. Uh, and we can go to the opposite side. Yep, sure can. Okay. Yeah, this this is a good training mode. Um, there are a couple of things here that I really wish Strive had, um, and it doesn't, uh, but it should. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. Um, game was good. Um, I do have some questions about some of the character uh, character designs, maybe people could be wearing a bit more clothing, that kind of thing, but outside of that, uh, it's really fun. Um, and it's playing a little differently from what I'm used to, but it's fun, and I'm sort of getting the hang of it, and I think it looks like a pretty good game. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, I probably end up getting it. Um, yeah. 
I'm not sure... I think the Deluxe Edition includes, like, the first couple of DLC characters or something. Deluxe Character Pass gets six DLC characters. Okay. Ugh, so, it's probably a bit tough to get that one. <laughs> Uh, I'll check what characters they are, which I can probably do so like, online or something, uh, and see what I think about it. But yeah, um, this game looks good. <laughs> um, and I, I really do love the little partner characters that are super adorable. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, uh, that's it for now. Bye! <laughs>